In this video, we'll unbox a new astrophysics mount, including reviewing what's in each box and answer some of the most common questions when the mount first arrives. All your boxes may not arrive at one time, so be patient. Although they are typically shipped together, they are not always handled together, so some may be delayed. Just give it some time and patience, keep track of the tracking numbers that were sent to you, and watch for all your boxes. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is inspect the boxes for damage. If you do see shipping damage, take pictures. Equipment is securely packed, so shipping damage probably won't affect the gear. However, significant shipping damage should be reported immediately to astrophysics, including your pictures. Now it's time to see what's inside of each of the boxes. When we open them, we want to be careful because we want to save these boxes. So make sure to treat them nicely. You absolutely want to keep them, especially in the first couple months after you receive it, just in case something needs to be returned. Okay, so in this box, this should be the mount head. And sure enough, this is a Mach 2 mount head, very nicely packaged. This long, narrow box is the counterweight shaft. This next box is going to be the controller and the accessories. Now you may notice some of these boxes contain a ton of peanuts. And that of course is for shipping safety, but these peanuts are also biodegradable, chosen specifically by astrophysics to minimize any sort of harm to the environment. And they're edible. I wouldn't recommend eating them, but they are edible. So in the accessories box, not only is there going to be your various cables, uh, but also any additional accessories that you may have ordered in addition to your mount. So here, for example, there is some mounting rings. Here's a dovetail. So we'll go through everything that's in this box in more detail in just a minute. This small and heavy box is going to be the counterweights if you actually ordered some. Each counterweight ah, is boxed up separately. Go ahead and take a look at these. Some nice documentation here about how to counterbalance the mount. Here is the counterbalance tightening knob, which we'll look at. And here is the counterbalance weight. Now, if you've ordered other accessories, these will come in other boxes as well. Some of the accessories might be in the accessories box, but big things like, for example, this Eagle Pier will come in its own box. So with the Eagle Pier, there's a lot of peanuts. Eagle Pier comes completely assembled. There's a couple tricks to it and a few accessories along with the documentation here, but we're gonna take a look at that in just a quick second. One other tip, make sure to go through the peanuts and all your boxes in detail. There's a lot of small pieces that can be buried in the peanuts. And sometimes folks will think there's something that was missing from the shipment, but in fact, they're buried in the peanuts. So it's worth going through all this, but again, save your boxes, save your packing materials. In this section, we will go through the boxes contents. The items shown here are specific to the astrophysics Mach 2 mount. So your box contents may be a little different based upon the mount you ordered. Okay. Ugh. The Mach 2 mount comes as a single piece. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. I recommend you leave the mount head standing vertically, but just for purposes of this video, we're gonna take a look at it. So this is a Mach 2, it comes as a single piece. If you have an 1100 or a 1600, they will come in two separate pieces. Each counterweight is packaged individually. Two 
to assemble the counterweight hand knob, you first insert the spring, then the plunger, and then screw in the hand knob. Now we're gonna go through the accessory box, which is where most of the questions typically happen. Although they are typically packed towards the bottom of the box, it's best to start with the printed manuals. The documentation included with your mount is important and valuable. There is a mount registration card that we highly recommend that you fill out and send in, or there is an online registration URL on this card that you can do electronically. If you ordered a mount that includes a license for PEMPRO, the license key will be in the inside cover. Inside the mount manual, you'll find an introduction letter that includes important information such as your Wi-Fi username and password for the controller. And you will also get a parts list right on page four. In addition to the mount manual, there is the manual for the CP5 mount controller, including supplemental updates. If you order the optional keypad, the keypad manual will also be included. This is the CP5 control box. Gives you a warning to install the FTDI driver in the computer before connecting this to your computer, particularly if you're using USB. This is the power cable that goes from the CP5 controller to the Anderson power pole connector along with some instructions. Okay, in the brown box, so this is the AC adapter with an Anderson power pole type connection for the mount on the other side. It says warning 24 volts, so be aware that this is a 24 volt mount on the Mach 2. Standard power cable. These are the RA and deck cables. They're all nicely labeled as well. We have this very interesting looking package. Inside this package, we have cable ties that are Velcro. We have a package of port covers that helps keep ports dry and secure when not being used. In the box, we have the thumb drive that includes the operating manuals and software. And the Tommy bar. You can use the Tommy bar on the altitude knob to help adjust for polar alignment. So this is a safety stop. This is for the counterweight bar. In this package, there's a set of machine knobs that we will use. And a lovely set of wrenches for installing everything. Ball end wrenches, very high quality. Okay, this is the screw packet for the control box adapter for piers and tripods. So when we set up the control box, on our pier or tripod, we're going to use these two parts. If you purchased an optional saddle plate, it will also come in the accessories box. This one is compatible with the Lost Mandy D-style dovetail. The saddle plate will also come with an assortment of fastener screws to attach to the top of the deck axis. If you ordered the right angle polar alignment scope, it comes in a box like this, instructions included, which is great. This is the illuminator for the reticle, looks like. Dimmable, great. And this is the right angle polar scope with caps. I would be careful about using a knife when cutting through the bubble wrap, especially with machined anodized finishes here. I probably wouldn't use this. I'm just gonna kind of continue pulling this apart. Here is the adapter to attach it, along with, along with instructions and the rest of the parts to that. If you ordered a keypad, it's gonna come in this big white box here, a cable, which is generously long, will also be in there. Any additional accessories that you may have ordered are also included in the accessory box. The counterweight bar 
comes nicely packaged and has a protector for the threads here. So we just pull that off. You also notice it has this plastic disc on here. You want to leave this on. This is for ensuring that you can remove the counterweight bar easily. Now, if you remember this piece, the counterweight safety stop from the accessory kit, this is where it goes on. It's the counterweight bar. So once you have your mount set up and the counterweights installed and the mount balanced, you put this on to ensure that the counterweights are safely secured. This wraps up the unboxing overview. If you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more, please check out our other tutorial videos and consider subscribing to the Astrophysics YouTube channel.